I've just survived a bit of a rainstorm and I think I might have found a tooth. Have a look down here. That sure looks toothy. It's got a bit of a shine to it. This thing over here. Okay, here's the mystery fossil that I'm going to try and prep now. It's this little black thing sticking out here. It's really shiny. And I thought at first it was a shark tooth, but then looking at it closer, some suggestions have been something like a squid beak or a pincer from a small crab or a shrimp or even part of a lobster mandible. So yeah, I'm going to prep it some more and hopefully that will reveal its secrets to us. I've cut the rock down to be a lot more manageable now after checking that there's no other bits of fossil in there. So now it's a lot easier to move around and I figured out what it is. Well, I'm pretty sure I know what it is. Quite a few people were right on Instagram, but it is in fact the claw of a little uh, mud shrimp or sand shrimp. So you can see these little shrimps that burrow in the mud and what we're looking at is this piece of it here the propodus and we've got this section including that fixed finger but it's uh, missing the dactylus so that's the part of the claw that opens and shuts this one is stationary that's fixed and so it pinches by moving this one up and down against this one and that's what we have over there very cool at least we know what it is and i've never found one of these at this beach at the other beach I go to, there's often uh, little lobsters, little scampies, but never before this one. So yeah, that's a, a cool find. I'm glad we can identify it now. So thanks everyone that said, um, mystery solved. This was found on the same day as that little bit of shrimp. It was found by Christian. And you can see it's got something sticking out there. And then it's got what appears to be a bit of bone over here. So I'm going to give it a quick prep just to make sure um, it is indeed bone and not a weird angle of like a flabellum coral or something like that. Yeah, there's some interesting bits out there. This one's actually full of crystals over here. It looks a little bit like a shell. But yeah, a quick prep I think will tell us what it is. And then I was going through some of my finds from last year and I came across this one. It's a very weird looking thing, but after looking at it for a bit, I think it's actually part of a bird skull. I think that's the, the beak over there going this way. And that might be part of the cranium or something there. It's very symmetrical. So yeah. A few weird things. <laughs> uh, so let me get prepping. I'll make a video shortly of uh, the other finds. Thanks so much for watching everyone. I uh, hope you enjoyed this little prep and it's probably the smallest prep I've done. Yeah, but uh, I really thought it was a shark tooth at first because it's just so shiny. But yeah, shrimp, 
The shrimp claw is cool, especially since I don't know of anyone that's found one at that beach before. Like you saw now, I've got quite a few interesting little specimens to prep, so keep an eye out for some more prep videos in the future. Stay safe and I'll see you on the next hunt or prep.